This video is brought to you by Roll for Combat, an official Paizo actual play podcast. Visit RollForCombat.com today to listen to Agents of Edgewatch and join Basil, Dougie, Gomez, and Lomang as they protect and serve the citizens of Absalom from a mysterious and diabolical plot. <laughs> Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you, and today's question deals with the Mage Armor spell, and whether or not casting that spell on a target that is already wearing traditional armor will yield any benefit. And the answer to that is, is no, it, it won't. If that target is already wearing armor, they're, they're not going to get any benefit out of having mage armor cast on them as well. And the reason for that is because typed and like bonuses do not stack. So if you look at the mage armor spell, it says that when you cast it, it grants a plus one item bonus to armor class. And if you look at whatever armor a target may be wearing, the bonus to their armor class provided by that armor is also an item bonus. So since they are both sources of the same type of bonus, in this case both being item bonuses, they do not stack. You would take the larger of the two. Now that's one quick explanation as to why this wouldn't work, but it's also worth noting that you really can't wear more than one type of armor at the same time. And although we traditionally think of the Mage Armor spell as being a force field or being something that creates a thin barrier around you or strengthens the clothing that you're wearing and not thinking of Mage Armor as being armor in a traditional sense, if you look at the end of the description of the mage armor spell, it says while wearing mage armor. So since this is something that in the rules, the mechanical rules description talks about you wear it, I think you apply this the same rationale to this as you would anything else. And Although I, I will confess that I have not been able to find uh, anything in the rules as written that specifically says you cannot wear more than one suit of armor at the same time. Uh, I think that's probably in the, the realm of, of common sense, of a general consensus that that is probably not something that's intended by the rules. And if you do look at the passage that talks about what, uh, what unarmored means, it says, when you are not armored, you are unarmored. So that makes it pretty clear to me that you cannot be uh, both wearing a suit of armor and have mage armor cast on you that uses your unarmored proficiency at the same time. Now, the, the main reason why I'm bringing all this up is there have been discussions I've seen online where people go to the rule that you cannot uh, stack and add together tight bonuses. Instead, you take the better of the two as a way to kind of cherry pick that if you were to cast mage armor on somebody, you could mix and match an item bonus from your armor and maybe a proficiency bonus from being unarmored and use the uh, the better maximum dexterity of unarmored, uh, which it, there's many different reasons why that doesn't work out. <laughs> and I'm not gonna dive into all of that here. Just suffice to say that unfortunately no, um, mage armor, you wouldn't be able to cast that on someone who's already wearing armor and get a benefit. And I'll, I'll also say that if you're interested in using mage armor, I would encourage you to check out Explorer's Clothing and see if you can get a potency, a plus one potency rune etched onto that. Uh, I tend to see my spell slots as being very, very valuable. And that Explorer's Clothing with a plus one potency rune on it essentially is going to give you the same benefit as a level one mage armor spell and it frees up that uh, that spell slot. So uh, for whatever it's worth, that's one suggestion. As always, if you have any suggestions for future rule reminders, please let me know in the comments and I will link in the description any other videos I have that pertain to this topic that might be worth looking at for more information and uh, and for future viewing. And as always, I also wanna make sure I thank everybody out there who supports me in this channel, whether that is through clicking the like button, leaving a comment, sharing the videos with your friends, subscribing to the Patreon, subscribing to the channel, it all adds up and I greatly appreciate everything everybody in the community does to support me in this channel, so thank you. With that, thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.